my husband and I are getting away from our usual activities today. Guess where we are going to? Ngong Forest on Gong Road. Ngong Forest is a natural forest, beautiful especially after the rains. It also has a dam that enhances the forest's natural feel. My husband is going fishing and I'm tagging along. I have only slept for four hours. I feel groggy. I do not even recognize the taste of my sweet drink cocoa. My appetite is very low. Seems like my digestive system has decided not to wake up. An hour later, we pick up our fishing rods and at 10 o'clock, we are at the gate with very polite guards. We walk down to the dam very excited that we have arrived early enough to catch fish. My husband, who I think is the fisherman of the day because he's the only one fishing, throws in the hook with plastic lure. A dog jumps into the water, thrashing around, bringing up dirt from below. The dog has no idea what we are doing. Our hope is lost and we are disappointed. I turn my head slowly to look at my husband and we are like, what just happened? My husband shrugs and continues to hold the rod. Then the owner of the dog appears and apologizes. Of course we cannot be angry. It is a public place. The owner and the dog leave and guess what else we think has disappeared? You are right, the fish. Soon the water is calm again. We hope the fish is back. Suddenly, again, a stick is thrown into the water and a dog dives in and fetches. We look at the owner and smile again because they are also smiling. Besides fishing, people also walk their dogs here. That dog that you see there thinks the fisherman is playing with him. He's waiting for him to throw the rod so he can fetch. We laugh and don't move. After a while, the owner shushes it away and they walk away. After a few unsuccessful attempts at fishing, we decide to walk to the other side of the river to another dam. A few steps, and my stomach reminds me that I did not eat. My leg muscles are weak. I want to stop and sit down on a rock or lie down on the weeds, but I do not want to bore my husband. So I keep walking and hoping we reach the other side as soon as possible. A few more steps, we go off the path to check if the small fish we saw during our last visit are grown. We are surprised that that part of the river is completely dry. It has not rained for a while now. The river Motoine, that becomes Gong River downstream, is seasonal. If it does not rain, some parts of the river dry up, some fish die, and the rest swim into the larger waters. Oh, finally, I see the dam. I have been here several times, but sometimes, like today, when my stomach is empty, it seems so far. Guess what other wonderful thing I see? A seat. A place to rest and drink lemon juice that I made in the morning and biscuits that I brought with me, which I could not eat earlier. Time to refresh my mind and add glucose to my weak muscles. The fisherman walks down to the dam and places one rod on my side of the dam, the other rod on the other side. I spread my scarf on the weeds, sit and watch. I try very hard to keep my eyelids open, but they shut. I am dozing. Bad company for my husband, though he says he doesn't mind me sleeping. The only insects I've seen here are grasshoppers. But that does not stop me from worrying that if I sleep, some unknown insects will crawl up my blouse into my nose and ears. What if someone passes by and says hello? You know, they say hello. They are good people. They will not know I am asleep. They will think I am rude and unfriendly. 
They also love to hold small conversations and ask if we have caught anything. Some say they have seen fish before, big fish. My husband also says he sees fish and has met someone before who has caught fish. Apart from the small fish I saw during my last visit, I have never seen any other. Maybe they are too fast for my eyes. We continue to stare at the rods. No fish. We try to throw in the bait, live bait, a grasshopper, still no fish. So the fisherman decides to rest next to me. We wait. And I wonder if the fish are fed the whole night. That is why they never eat our food. The fisherman tells me catfish love chicken because of the smell. I almost jump up. Who throws chicken into the water? Is that not wasting chicken? Then I remember. I love fish more than chicken. I feel it would be okay. One of the common fish here is tilapia. One may see tilapia shoaling late in the afternoon by the reeds. There is also the bass, which is not indigenous. The catfish hides in holes and reeds near the bank. The barb, which is easier to catch because it bites anything that moves, is not found here. Believe me when I tell you that if it was found here, we would sure catch it. Spotting other animals in Gong Forest is rare. My husband says he spotted a deer once. We think animals hide because of our movement and talk. Animals can sometimes be afraid of humans. There are birds though, many birds, and those are easy to spot. My eyelids are heavy when we decide to walk back, but I feel more refreshed. The sleep is gone a little, though my legs are still tired. I suddenly realize I never wore my glasses in the forest when I looked at my phone. My eyesight was better, and I begin to think forests heal. That is why I visit every chance I get. I do not know I'm being filmed until I realize my companion, who has now become the film director, is asking more questions than necessary. <laughs> he also keeps asking me to repeat my answers. It is when I feel something is wrong and turn to look. Our daughter comes too sometimes and she helps. She loves working most, so when we fish, she's on the phone. We don't really mind. We understand people have different interests, like my husband will find joy in water, fishing, and maps, and I will find peace in the trees, rocks, and lonely paths. Gong Forest is always peaceful. No crowd, no noise. It is one of the best places to visit when you wish to have some quiet time. This is our third visit, and we will come again. I had said I will not chew while being filmed, but I forgot. Yeah, that looks bad. Terrible. Horrible. Nasty. Let me say again, bad. These are some of the photos I took. And I love them. I love taking photos too. We will keep trying to catch fish here. And we'll enjoy our visits even without fish. We have caught fish in different rivers three times. Our hope is not lost yet. When we don't catch any, we buy. The pieces you see here are Nile patch. The Nile patch is huge. This is just a small part of it. The white meal is called ugali, cooked maize flour. And when I am not out there trying to catch uncooperative fish, this is what I do. I finished knitting this hoodie and I gave it out. Never give up on something you love to do. Get out many times. I wanted to say once in a while, but get out many times. It is good. 
and you will like it.